couple of months in, we installed a really elaborate bypass. The idea of the bypass is to bypass the mass. So we can take the exhaust and we can route it from the manifold to directly outside rather than going through the mass. We thought that this would help to start the system. The system could work much better. Uh, in the end, um, didn't really seem to help that much. I mean, it, it maybe it helped like 3 or 4%, not worth the elaborate bypass. Um, but we did discover something else. We found that if you're getting down towards the very end of the burn, or, it, or the burn is all done, it's stopped, then if you activate the bypass, then what happens is, is that um, if the system is still warm enough, or if the air of the room is warm enough to um, uh, warm the vertical riser that goes outside, then it's possible that air could keep moving outside, and the, um, uh, with the bypass activated, then at least the air is coming directly from the wood feed, moving through uh, the, the heat riser, the barrel, the uh, manifold, and then right on outside and not touching the mass. So then the mass continues to give off heat to the room. Otherwise, what would happen is, is that the air would move through the entire mass and go outside. And so between the uh, bypass and the guillotines, we think that we have doubled the efficiency of this rocket mass heater, and we believe it would double the efficiency of any rocket mass heater. However, um, there were some downsides too. Uh, sometimes people would forget to reopen the guillotine, and that would be a bit of a disaster. Uh, also, there were times when uh, people would forget to reactivate the mass. So then they'd run a nice hot fire, and uh, the mass would not get heated up. So those things happen so often that in the end, I think that the wise thing to do is to not install a bypass and to not install guillotines. Instead, when you get to the end of the fire, the thing you're going to try and do is to just cover up the wood feed. Between covering up the wood feed and then the P-trap sort of thing that happens within the barrel, that's generally good enough to stop any airflow. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.